As soon as you pick up your digital daggers or unsheathe your pixelated pike to do battle with the great evils of the video game universe, as a player, you must accept the following. Your journey will likely be very difficult and filled with peril, and that you'll likely be slogging your way through countless enemies in order to get to your goal. Now, for most heroes, they eat regular goons for breakfast. I mean, for example, Batman swats thugs away as if they were but flies. However, there are moments where enemies will just stop playing by the rules and absolutely absolutely have your life over and over. Whereas most enemies we're almost eager to fight because we know just how badly we'll spank them, the 10 on this list, well they make us want to duck down behind the hill and pray they didn't see us. From devastating wildlife to never-ending boss battles, these are some enemies that really make a statement to the player, and that statement is you. With this in mind, I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 most annoying video game enemies of the last decade. Number 10. Dark Elves, God of War, PS4 It actually makes me feel a little dirty to speak negatively on the PS4's phenomenal God of War title, especially when it genuinely moved me to tears come the close of its epic narrative. However, I would be remiss to say that the game was perfect, thanks in part to some of the enemies that you encounter along the way. Now, For the most part, the giants, brutes, and other evil horrors you face, well, they're fun to split in two with your axe, but the Dark Elves as a whole, well, they can just get in the bin as there are so many of them. Swarming the player at every given chance, any fight against them is turned into a slog when yet more of them just hover up from out of nowhere thanks to a summoner calling in reinforcements. Add into the mix that some of these can blind you and others can just leap up into the air away from your attacks and you have an opponent that takes ages to get the better of as you're only ever able to chip away at them when they dart about. Still, that does make any executions that much more satisfying at the end, but I digress. Number 9. Shinobi Hunters – Sekiro Shadows Die Twice As with most From Software games, there exists a gatekeeping enemy in Sekiro that is where the title drops all pretense and states, I know that those original enemies were pretty tough there champ, but that is nothing compared to one I've got in store for you right now. Now in Demon's Souls and Dark Souls it was the first bosses that you faced, but in Sekiro, this Shinobi Hunter and others of his ilk were considered to be mini-bosses. That's right, mini-bosses. These weren't even considered to be full-fledged challenges by this game, which just shows how challenging this title wanted to be. With a large sweeping moveset and a lovely death blow that is just oh so fun to eat time and time again, newcomers threw themselves against this opponent and often came up short. What makes this fight so arduous is that even if you do have the Makiri counter, the hunter is surrounded by enemies who, if you engage with carelessly, will lead to the fight becoming even more challenging. It is a great battle for sure once you master it, but bloody hell was it annoying to get the timings down the first time around. Number 8. Ghasts – Minecraft Whenever players think of the most annoying Minecraft enemy, chances are they will automatically think of that horrible little rotten sausage that is the Creeper. And while there is no doubt that this exploder of hopes and dreams is a pain, the ghasts somehow manage to be even worse. Dropping in 2010 along with the infamous Nether update, the ghasts are able to spot you from a country mile away and then fly towards you, sighing out fireballs at you as they do so. Hitting them can be extremely difficult, and as you're in such a dangerous area to begin with, being hit yourself often leads to falling, burning, and dying. The only good thing that you can say about them is that they don't have much health, but still, God, Notch was not kidding when he said that he was creating the most unfair mob ever just before he released this update. Number 7. Angry Sun – Super Mario Maker 2 no. Oh god no. Why, of all of the enemies from Mario's past, did they decide to drag up this heated horror? I thought that we were done with this scolding, in both senses of the word right there, son at the end of Super Mario Bros. 3. Well, it turns out that Nintendo just loves catering to the masochists who play Super Mario Maker 2 because it was added back in and god damn it, do I hate it. Getting through some of these custom-made levels is enough to pull your own ears off in a fit of rage, but now thanks to this, you'll have to divide your focus between the countless hazards in front of you and this horrible ball of rage. What makes it so tough to deal with is that it passes through every enemy and obstacle without issue and of course Mario Maker players aren't exactly the sort to give you shells and power blocks to help you defeat it so you'll have to master its attacks and track its movements while struggling against everything else. Cheers. Number 6. Honey Badgers – Far Cry 4 Never 
underestimate the honey badger. This ferocious and devastatingly hard-hitting animal from Far Cry 4 might have a cute name and a look that screams butter wouldn't melt, but trust me, that butter is indeed melting on the fiery pits of hell that are this creature's internals, because if you spot one in this game, run. Even if you think you're well-equipped and sporting full armor and health, the honey badger will turn you to toilet paper in mere seconds. It's lithe, hard to hit, surprisingly durable, and absolutely relentless. And the former two traits mean that sometimes you can aggro one without even knowing it, but you'll soon realize your mistake when you're suddenly two foot shorter as this beast has eaten your legs. I know it sounds over the top, but seriously, fear the honey badger, as it cares not for your pain. Number 5. Standard Bearers – Vermintide 2 the world of Vermintide is a bleak one. Besieged by rat men called Skaven and followers of the plague god Nurgle, our heroes face trials and challenges at every turn. And while many would curse enemies like the Gutter Runners or Rattling Gunners, the Winds of Magic DLC added in a whole herd of pain for players in the form of Standard Bearers. Now, on the surface, you might immediately peg the best Agora because this horn head loves ramming people at full speed, separating party members entirely. However, the Standard Bearer is easily the most annoying, because this bastard buffs every surrounding beast of chaos unit around it, upping their health and turning even the lowliest of ungors into bullet and sword sponges. Taking out the banner is next to impossible, because the standard bearers also spawn in with tons of grunts, meaning that it's a slog to get there and can easily see parties overwhelmed. Boo, the crowd hates that. Boo. Number 4. Cazadors – Fallout New Vegas as I have stated many, many times in my life here at WhatCulture.com, I adore Fallout New Vegas. It's got that perfect blend of over-the-top silliness and brilliantly engaging mini-narratives that make exploring the irradiated Mojave Desert an absolute joy from start to finish. In fact, I'm going through a heavily modded campaign at the moment over on my personal gaming channel, Live and Let's Dice, and I totally recommend you check it out. However, it's not an easy journey, because you'll have to tackle numerous gangs and raiders, combat the weather itself, and of course, survive the night against numerous mutated wildlife. Yet it's not the howl of a death claw or the unnatural moan of a glowing one that makes me soil my stolen trousers, it's the horrible buzz of a cazador. These things absolutely suck. Hitting you for ridiculous damage and potential poison effects, these armoured flying tanks are in the business of embarrassing you in combat, and business is bloody booming. If you venture anywhere close up the mountains of the Mojave, you'll stand a chance of being stung by these absolute rascals. And trust me, it'll be enough to make you want to hang up your exploring shoes for good. But what makes it so horrible is just how quickly they can swarm you, meaning that even if you do have the good sense to run, you simply might not be able to outpace these flying monstrosities. Number 3. Lady Comstock – Bioshock Infinite Oh, Lady Comstock, how I hate thee. Appearing countless times to hamper your progress, and fun by the way, in the otherwise enjoyable Bioshock Infinite, this ghost who can boast the most roast stings of the player is a nightmare to battle each and every time. Not only is she an absolute bullet sponge, but she is able to resurrect guards to fight for her, meaning that every encounter is a balancing act of wasting all your ammo getting rid of her bodyguards to maybe slug her twice with whatever tosh you've got left. And these battles highlight just how rubbish Bioshock Infinite's decision was to limit the player to just two weapons, as your ammo will likely run drier than sandpaper shoes in the bloody desert. And as the enemies would just drop random weapons, you'd maybe have to switch to a gun that either wasn't upgraded enough or was just piss poor in general, making the fight feel even more of a slog. And all of this just makes it all the more insane to realize just how many times they make you fight her. Number 2. Ichthyornis – Ark Survival Evolved when compared to some of the other enemies on this list, a simple bird might not seem like such a big deal. However, if you've ever played Ark Survival Evolved and encountered one of these beasts, you won't be scoffing so heartily, especially when it devours all of your food and chucks your items in the sea. Yeah, they're utter bastards. Swooping down from above, these feathered fiends will nick all of your stash and pepper the ground around you with your inventory, forcing you to pick everything back up, unless it's food of course, because they'll have just eaten that outright. It's an immense pain, especially especially when survival is the name of the game, quite literally in fact. It also doesn't help that they're likely going to be the first hostile creatures that you see because they often hang around the beaches where you spawn. If the world wasn't already brutal enough, these guys act like the school bullies who steal your lunch money and throw your pencil case in the toilet. A right pain in the arc. And number one, everyone, Fall Guys. 
Now, you might read that at first and consider that it might be a bit rash to label everyone in Fall Guys as an annoying enemy, but you know what? If you do think that, then you simply not played this adorable, charming, and so goddamn frustrating title. It's one of the few large-scale multiplayer games that will make you hate every living soul that you're sharing a match with, and this is because it's a game that focuses solely on not being out. And so, this mentality of survival by any means results in contestants becoming the dirtiest players in in the book. They will grab you, they will taunt you, they will push you right off at the last bloody second, and it will make you see past the cutesy bean characters to the rotten core beneath. Even if you're playing with friends, camaraderie is left by the wayside as soon as that crown is on the table, and even if you do win, you have to ask yourself, was it worth it? <laughs> yeah, of course. And there we go, those were the 10 most annoying video game enemies of the last decade. I hope that you enjoyed that, my friends, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below, as well as any other choices that you might have for a list of your own design. If you want to chat to me further, you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice as my personal gaming channel where I stream every single Wednesday and Sunday. Before I go, my friends, I just want to detail one thing. We spoke today at length about annoying video game enemies that got the better of us, but you know what? We shouldn't allow us to get the better of ourselves. Sometimes we can definitely be too hard on ourselves, and I just want to state for the record today that you, my friend, you deserve love, happiness, and success. We all do as human beings, and I hope that you're able to achieve those tenants. But you know what? Even if you're struggling, that's completely okay. Everyone has their down days. Everyone goes through difficult times. You're not alone. So with the help of friends, family, and professionals in the support industry, we will help you get there and live a healthier and happier life. Big love from me to you, you massive ledge, and I'll speak to you soon.